so the first anemia we will talk about is iron deficiency anemia as the name suggests iron deficiency anemia means the development of rbcs under low iron amount in the body this low amount of iron in the body may be due to inadequate dietary intake decreased absorption from gat increased blood loss or increased requirement for the body so here are the gross features of what exactly the patient of iron deficiency anemia looks like his pale with nails looks like a spoon this is known as nail spooning or coelonychia angles of mouth are inflamed and cracked this is known as angular chelitis degeneration and inflammation of tongue tissues which is known as atrophic glossitis eating disorder which is known as pica which is a compulsion for eating the non nutritive substances just like clay or mud now we are going for the microscopic features first of all we take the sample from blood and uh, bone marrow biopsy and we use the prussian blue stain to detect the presence of iron stores in these cells this is a normal rbc with central pallor and surrounding rim of red color in iron deficiency anemia this rbc turns into a small size known as microcyte and the red brim becomes pale and this is known as hypochromic cell meanwhile there is also considerable changes in the shape of rbc uh, there is something looks like elongated and uh, something pencil like so we call these cells as pencil cells at this point of this video i hope you have gained a clearer understanding of the concepts we have covered for those of you who want to reinforce your learning and dive deeper into this topic we have created comprehensive review notes these notes break down the key points discussed in this lecture making it easier for you to grab some material quickly be sure to check them out by clicking the link in the description below happy studying so here is the histological illustration that we made for understanding purpose here you can see this is the normal rbc central pale and uh, peripheral rim of red color and in iron deficiency anemia you can see these are numerous small microcytic and hypochromic cell these are small in size and less red in color than the normal rbc here you can see uh, there are some elongated cells which we call as pencil cells because they looks like pencil so this was the histological illustration drawing for understanding purpose and here you can see this is the real image it is what a real histological slide of iron deficiency anemia looks like here you see this is a normal rbc this one and these are small hypochromic microcytic cell and these are the pencil cells i hope you understand so it's time to write down the points we use prussian blue stain very important we see microcytic and hypochromic red cells there is enlarged zone of central pallor uh, hemoglobin in these cells is present in a narrow peripheral rim and there is considerable changes in the shape of rbcs which is known as poikilocytosis and these rbcs looks like pencil so we call these as pencil cells again very important and now for the last there is very important complication which is known as palmer winson syndrome in palmer winson syndrome there is a triage of underlying pathologies number 1 there is iron deficiency anemia number 2 there is post curricoid or esophageal webs number 3 these esophageal webs causes dysphagia so it is a triad of three pathological conditions which is known as palmer winson syndrome And this concludes our current section of iron deficiency anemia.